Hey, what's up? I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and today I want to give you a quick look at the Lamy Logo Fountain Pen. Uh, now, this pen is one that not a lot of people talk about, and I don't really know why. So that's why I'm highlighting it a little bit in this video, because I think that this pen should be on more people's radar. It's a straight pen, and it's really kind of unique in its design. It's straight all the way down, and it's really futuristic looking. It's a pretty thin pen, just like the Lamy CP1. So those of you who are into really thin pens will really dig this. It also has a pretty flexible spring clip that's inset into the cap a bit. And I don't know why I think that's cool, but I just do. It has a snap cap and it pushes to post. Now, even though it's made of metal, it's aluminum, so it's still pretty light. It's about 18 grams, which is only slightly more than the plastic Lamy Safari. Its nibs are interchangeable with all the stainless steel Lamy nibs. It only comes available from Lamy with a fine or a medium nib, but you can swap it out with an extra fine, a broad 1.1, 1.5, or 1.9 millimeter stub nib. The matte stainless steel version starts around $35, and the brushed around $40. They're cartridge converter pens that take Lamy proprietary cartridges or the black and silver Lamy Z26 converter, which is not included with these pens. So you'll need to pick one of those up separately. The logo also comes in a pretty unique box that's different from all of the other Lamy pens. It breaks apart in the middle and the pen lifts up like Han Solo and Carbonite. The Safari and the All-Star get so much attention within the Lamy brand that it tends to overshadow the logo, but I don't really like that that happens. I think this is one that really should be on your radar if you're in the market for a 40-ish dollar fountain pen. So if you want to learn more up-to-date specs and details about the Lamy logo, you can check it out on GouletPens.com. If you like this video and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and right on.